It is time for deeds and not words. It is time to just stop oil. Politics is failing us. Politics filled women in 1914. If millions will die due to new oil and gas licensing, millions! If we love history, if we love art, and if we love our families, we must just stop oil. Man, what in the world is wrong with these people? What's up with security? This has happened quite often. Why don't they have some kind of protocol? If you're coming into this museum and you got purple hair, 17 piercings, and all this stuff, you got a backpack. No, you are not allowed to come in this museum. We have the right to refuse service to anyone. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe. You got to be subscribed for great content like this and hit share share so we can get it out there. So this just stop oil individuals go in and have these like hammers and are banging on this painting. Mind you, this painting was painted, I believe in the 1600s. It's worth like tens of millions of dollars from what I've seen. There's different estimates here and there, I guess art costs is, you know, whoever's willing to spend money on it. Almost like Hunter Biden. If Hunter Biden can sell a painting and it goes like this crack doodle goes for 500K, this painting has to be at least a billion dollars, right? Hypothetically, right? If you think about it like that, if he's getting that much for that, what would a painting that was painted by somebody who actually had skill in the 1600s go for? So these crazy individuals go into this museum and just vandalize this old, amazing painting. What in the world? What is security doing? No, you need to empty your pockets. We need, we need to look through all of this stuff. Even If you even look slightly like you're crazy, no thank you, go down the street, go somewhere else. Why are they letting these people go in there? And this isn't the first time. There's other people that took like tomato sauce and threw it over. I don't know if it was a Van Gogh or some other beautiful painting, just completely vandalize it. Mind you, these are millions of dollars what's the repercussions for this stuff then they put glue on their hands and glue themselves to the wall then they have to get pulled off and they're chanting all this stuff or even have other people that threw flour and glued themselves to the car i believe it's only like one of 20 this vehicle that famous artists were given paint to go and conduct their masterpiece their vision so it's a very rare vehicle already and they go and they throw flour they're being dragged out they're yelling and screaming like what in the world is going on with these people have completely lost their minds they even vandalized some horse statue with paint and climbing on it and wrapping something over these people have lost their mind in this whole little thing with this just stop oil i wonder if they live in any kind of housing or anything like that that takes advantage of oil or anything like that or do they truly believe that electricity just plugs right into a battery and that's where it stops what do you, the clothes that they're wearing, I'm pretty sure that they were made in factories and the factories use fossil fuels. Same thing with these electric charging stations. What do you think? You think that the electric charging station, you plug up a Tesla or any of these cars and it runs down underground to a giant battery? No, all of this stuff is fueled by fossil fuels, by oil. That's what keeps millions and millions, billions of people warm during the winter is fossil fuels. What is the other alternative? You guys just saw that the Google bus, it's an all electric bus like completely lost power and was tearing up downtown. This is the this is the whole thing. They have that offshore project, two giant windmill projects that were going to be offshore in New Jersey. They just canceled those. You see, I believe it's four GM, whatever. They're losing like 30,000, if not more per electric vehicle that is made. It's just not there. People are not clamoring for it. It's just not there. If you want an electric vehicle and an electric water heater and stove and more power to you, have whatever you want. If you have, if you want a gas one, have at it. These crazy individuals like this, what is the alternative? 
So destroying, defacing these beautiful art pieces, this is going to get the message out there? If anything, just people, if you're looking like this and you're screaming, nobody's going to want to talk to you whatsoever. You are not in your right state of mind to be giving anybody advice about the future. And these are some of these people that get put in high positions of power. You're going to listen to people like this? We must just stop oil. And they're sitting down on the floor holding hands. Why don't you guys go to the park? Why don't you take the lady to a nice movie or dinner? Why don't y'all have a good time? Instead, you're wasting your time doing some nonsense like this. See, the value of the painting and where it's at, they should have to do hard time for doing this. You prosecute these people, the same people that lay out in the middle of the street and sit down and impede traffic and all that, you slap them with some crazy fine, some crazy jail time, and all of this stuff will completely stop. If they see people like, man, he had to do 10 years, man, he had to do 15 years just for throwing paint on this art piece, I bet you they'll think twice about doing it. These people do this stuff and I'm pretty sure they're let out the very next day or the following day. And that's why this keeps happening. You gotta punish people that do this ignorant stuff. What the hell does the artist, what does the museum have to do with this oil thing? And they're preaching, if you love art and you love this, you have to stop oil. These people are completely insane. So if I'm a security guard, I'm the curator of this art or the manager of this museum, you come in here, I'm gonna have a list at the security. If they have any of these parameters your hair looks crazy purple and blue hair you got 13 shirts on underneath a hoodie a backpack you have some toothpaste with you or some kind of oil or paint you are not allowed to come in this museum sorry go find somewhere else to go these people should spend their time doing something else productive like I said take the young lady out on a date live your life have a good time instead they do senseless stuff like this because they're completely brainwashed. Hush up, boy. So y'all tell me, I think if you slap these people with some hefty prison sentences, all of this stuff will stop overnight. But the real art they should be attacking is not this Van Gogh, Monet. You need to go Hunter's art. That's where the money's at. It's kind of interesting, too. A quick little side note. Isn't it kind of funny that all of the buyers, anonymous, right? You don't know any of the buyers of his artwork. All of their names are kept anonymous. That's just a little food for thought. I wonder why that is. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You gotta be subscribed to this hot channel. <laughs> and don't forget to share so we can get it out there. And I will catch you guys on the next one.